Are you looking to figure out what the best schools are in Surrey, BC so that your children can get the best experience possible? This is likely because you're considering moving to the area or maybe you already live here and you just want to learn a little bit more about the schools here. Well, the good news for you is that in this video, I'm going to be covering my top seven schools in Surrey, BC. So stay tuned because it's coming right up. What's going on guys? Alex Dunbar here, your favorite local Surrey realtor, back again with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, I make videos about the cities of Surrey and Langley and all that they have to offer. I was born and raised here and have lived here for nearly 30 years, so I just want to be a resource for those of you who aren't as familiar with the areas so I can share my knowledge and experience. For those of you who may not know, the Surrey School District, also known as District 36, is the largest school district in all of BC. It consists of only elementary and secondary schools, meaning there are no middle school. Elementary school ranges from grades K to 7 and secondary or high school ranges from grades 8 to 12. Therefore, all schools mentioned in today's video fall into the latter category. Additionally, before getting into today's video, I want to address the fact that it is difficult to definitively say which schools are the best schools, as the best school for one student may not be the best school for another. This will depend on a variety of factors such as their individual needs and preferences, as well as the specific programs and resources offered by each school. For instance, if they're looking for a specific sports or arts program that is offered at one school and not another, it's not really fair to compare them. That being said, there are a number of schools in Surrey that are highly regarded by both parents and students. And just as a disclaimer, the schools mentioned today are in no order and are based solely off of my own opinions and research, so please take everything with a grain of salt. And with that, let's dive right into it. Starting us off, we've got Fraser Heights Secondary. The school is located in the Fraser Heights neighborhood of the broader community of Guilford. It opened its doors in September of 1999 and has since established itself as one of the leading high schools in Canada. The school is equipped with modern facilities, including a theater, library, science labs, and a fully equipped gymnasium. Fraser Heights offers a wide range of academic programs, including Advanced Placement Courses, or AP for short, and a variety of elective courses. The school has a strong focus on extracurricular activities, including sports teams and clubs, and community service programs. The school is known for its excellence in provincial badminton and volleyball, academics, particularly in the sciences, and extracurricular opportunities. The enrollment at Fraser Heights is about 1,500 students, including about 90 international students. These students are highly motivated and academically oriented and come to the school to build their skills in preparation for their numerous post-secondary endeavors. Over the past five years, Fraser Heights has adapted its academic programming to further meet the needs of its diverse students and their parent community. Examples of these adaptations include the Inquiry 8 cohort, Discovery program, learning support program, English language learning, building academic, the social and employment skills, also known as the BASIS program, high participation in district careers, and the grade 11-12 science and math academy. In addition, there's a vibrant club and athletic culture in the school with many students participating. Some of the clubs are subject-centered, while others focus on commitment to provide service to the school and wider community. The University of Toronto ranked Fraser Heights in the top 50 of all secondary schools in Canada for the success that the students have had after leaving the school. One of Fraser Heights' academic programs is a joint venture with Simon Fraser University called Science Academy. This is an all-year course extending over a period of two years from grade 11 to grade 12. The course combines a number of calculus and science classes and a choice between chemistry and computer science at Simon Fraser University. Many of the Science Academy students go on to study at top post-secondary schools internationally, including Harvard, Yale, Cornell, UC Berkeley, Penn State, Duke, and John Hopkins, just to name a few. As previously mentioned, Fraser Heights also offers a variety of AP courses, including honors courses in math, science, and the liberal arts. The school also offers many highly acclaimed clubs like the debate team. Members of the debate team at Fraser Heights Secondary actually qualified for nationals in 2022. This was following an impressive fourth place finish at provincials. While debate tournaments are predominantly made up of teams from private schools, Fraser Heights Secondary has a long history with debate and tries to offer opportunities for students who can't afford private training. The school also has a strong focus on promoting student engagement and fostering a sense of community. The school's extracurricular activities are designed to provide students with opportunities to explore their interests, develop their skills, and build meaningful relationships with their peers. In conclusion, Fraser Heights Secondary School is a dynamic and inclusive learning community that provides its students with a wide range of academic and extracurricular opportunities. Its modern facilities, dedicated staff, and strong focus on student engagement and success make it an excellent choice for high school education in Surrey, BC. Next, we've got Elgin Park Secondary. Located in the Elgin Chantrell community in South Surrey, the school first opened its doors in 1993. Elgin Park is referred to as the home of the Orcas, which is the school mascot. It's one of four public high schools on the peninsula, along with Earl Marriott Secondary, Semiamu Secondary, and Grandview Heights Secondary. The school boasts top-notch facilities, including a theater, 
library science labs, and a fully equipped gymnasium. They offer a wide range of academic programs including AP courses, integrated programs, science co-op and humanities co-op programs, and a variety of elective courses. Elgin Park Secondary is a school community that celebrates a culture of learning excellence. With close to 1,400 students and just over 100 staff members, the school population is not too big which means the school can focus on individual student goals. They welcome approximately 130 international students each year and their students are highly engaged in rich extracurricular clubs and opportunities both in school and out of school. Elgin Park is a school that is student-centered and their staff are committed to providing the best learning environment possible and ensuring it's safe and inclusive. Many of the school's graduates go on to attend top universities all across Canada and the rest of the world. There is a high drive to attend post-secondary institutions both locally and internationally. They have a strong tradition of highly engaged and committed parent guardians who contribute to the school through the Strong Parent Advisory Council or PAC for short and also through their dry grad. Elgin Park is known for its strong academic program and a range of elective courses in areas such as music, drama, art, and sports. At Elgin Park, they focus on community, connection, and social emotional learning. Throughout the year, students and staff engage in meaningful school community events that celebrate the staff and students. From athletics to band concerts to art shows and clubs and committees day, all of the orcas come out as a pod. In conclusion, Elgin Park Secondary is a dynamic and inclusive learning community that provides its students with a wide range of academic and extracurricular opportunities. And it's a school that should definitely be on your list if you're thinking about moving to Surrey. Moving on, we've got Fleetwood Park Secondary. Fleetwood Park is centrally located in the Fleetwood neighborhood of Surrey. The school was established in 1994 and has drawn many to the area ever since, including my parents. Fun fact, I actually grew up in the Fleetwood community and attended Fleetwood Park Secondary during my high school years. So I may be a little bit biased here, but I promise you, it's a fantastic school. Fleetwood Park currently has around 1,600 students attending and offers a wide range of academic programs, including AP courses and a variety of electives. But what sets it apart from other schools is its strong focus on extracurricular activities, including sports teams, clubs, and community service programs. Its staff members are dedicated to ensuring that each student is given the tools and resources they need to reach their full potential. Fleetwood Park offers a wide range of support programs to ensure that students are able to succeed both academically and personally. These programs include counseling services, peer tutoring, and learning support. The school has a diverse student population reflecting the multicultural nature of the surrounding community. Fleetwood Park celebrates this diversity and promotes an inclusive and accepting atmosphere. The school also has an extensive visual and performing fine arts program. Additionally, it's home to shop facilities supporting electronics, auto mechanics, and an advanced woodwork program. Fleetwood Park Secondary is a place of caring. It has a friendly environment and everyone, for the most part, is kind to one another. Teachers want what's best for their students and for the most part, students are respectful to their teachers, the staff, their peers, and the school in general. Fleetwood Park is a place of fairness because it's a school that doesn't discriminate against one's gender, culture, or anything of the sort. They have many classes and clubs including leadership, social justice, gay straight alliance club, and the multicultural club, just to name a few. All of which advocate for equality and fairness. The school has a strong sense of community and tradition which they refer to as Dragon Spirit, which is clear if you show up to any sporting event. They have both male and female teams in soccer, basketball, hockey, volleyball, rugby, cross country, and track and field. So if your kids are into competitive sports, there's no shortage of them. They produce strong teams on a regular basis across the board with a few provincial championships to their name. Additionally, they have many great intramural programs running at lunch most days, offering a variety of other activities such as dodgeball, ping pong, and ball hockey. In conclusion, Fleetwood Park Secondary is a vibrant and inclusive learning community that offers its students a wide range of academic and extracurricular opportunities. Its dedicated staff, modern facilities, and strong focus on student success make it an excellent choice if you do move to the area. Next, we have Semiamu Secondary School. Semiamu Secondary is located in the Sunnyside Park neighborhood of the South Surrey community, just a few blocks away from the White Rock border. This school is an integral part of the South Surrey community. The school opened its doors in 1940 as the first senior secondary school in South Surrey. It's come a long way since then and currently has a population of around 1,700 students. Just a quick bit of history for you. Semiamu Secondary was originally built in the city of White Rock in the late 1930s, becoming the area's first secondary school. The previous structure, which has since been demolished, occupied the same spot where the present-day White Rock Elementary School is located. In 1961, White Rock Junior Secondary was constructed on Oxford Street, resulting in the renaming of Semiamu to Semiamu Senior Secondary. A severe shortage of classrooms in the 1980s was caused by a fire at the White Rock Junior Secondary, prompting the Provincial Ministry of Education to initiate an effort 
effort to expand educational facilities in South Surrey. In 1989, Semiamu was relocated to the newly renovated and expanded White Rock Junior Facilities and officially renamed Semiamu Secondary School. Since the beginning, the school has had a strong tradition of rigorous academics along with first class programs in music, arts, athletics, technology, and culinary skills. In 1980, the IB program was established, making it one of the oldest IB programs in BC. In the past few years, the Semiamu School community has collaborated with the Semiamu First Nations to educate students on the rich history of the past and to make connections to the present and future. Semiamu also has a strong focus on athletics, offering many sports teams that compete at both the provincial and national level. They received multiple provincial banners in recent years. The school is located right next to the South Surrey Athletic Park, which has a track, baseball fields, both grass and turf soccer fields, and a rugby field. There is also a beach volleyball court. This is extremely convenient for the sports teams here as it acts as their home court. Semiamu is also known for their basketball team who performs well on a regular basis. As previously mentioned, Semiamu Secondary has been an IB World School since June of 1980. Surrey students are permitted to cross the school boundaries to enter the IB Diploma. Approximately 300 students in grades 11 and 12 are enrolled in the IB program every single year. There is also an option of students enrolling in the partial IB program Program. Students apply to the program in their grade 10 year by sending in the completed application package which can be found on the school website. Semiamu also offers a comprehensive music program that is fully integrated into the school's timetable. The program includes three concert bands, one for grade 8, one for grade 9, and the senior wind ensemble for students in grades 10 to 12. Additionally, there are six jazz bands available for students in grades 8 to 12, including two bands for grade 9 and one each for grades 10 to 12. The program also includes jazz combos that vary from year to year. Semiamu theater can accommodate up to 200 people and is used for a variety of performances throughout the year. Senior students showcase their talents through one-act plays, Shakespearean works, and improvisation sessions. Overall, Semiamu Secondary is a dynamic and inclusive learning community that offers its students a range of opportunities, all of which are reasons that it made this list. Moving on, we have Earl Marriott Secondary. Earl Marriott is located in the King George Corridor of the South Surrey community, right on the Surrey-White Rock border. This is 16th Avenue, also known as North Bluff Road. The school opened its doors in 1973 and was rebuilt in the year 2000. Currently, there are just over 1,400 students. Earl Marriott is a hub for academics, athletics, applied skills, and performing arts. As enrollment grew rapidly in South Surrey, Earl Marriott grew in both size and structure. With the recent opening of a new secondary school in South Surrey, which was Grandview Heights, Earl Marriott now enjoys increased space to learn and grow. Today, the school maintains a varied program of rigorous academic, fine and performing arts, technology, education, special education, athletic, and a number of co-op experiences, all of which are made available to its students through an active careers department. Earl Marriott also offers a French immersion program offering academic courses in both French and English, and it's one of only four French immersion schools in all of Surrey. However, only about 30% of the students in this school are working towards the completion of a full bilingual diploma. Earl Marriott is recognized as one of the oldest French immersion programs in Western Canada. The school also enjoys a close connection with the Semiamu First Nation. There is a rich history and tradition of collaboration with the First Nations community. Students from Earl Marriott participate in an annual powwow and have traveled to Haida Gwaii for cultural sharing. Elders from the community are invited in regularly to share their experiences with the students from stories to culture and history. Earl Marriott Secondary is known for its strong academic program with many of its graduates going on to attend top universities across the world. The school school's AP program provides students with the opportunity to earn college credits while still in high school. And the French Immersion program offers a bilingual learning experience for students who wish to develop their proficiency in both English and French. The school also offers a range of elective courses in many areas such as music, drama, art, and sports. All of which make it a well-rounded school and something that you should definitely consider. Next up, we've got Grandview Heights Secondary. Located in the Grandview Heights community, the school is a relatively new addition to the Surrey School District, having opened its doors for the first time in September of 2021. This made it the first new secondary school in South Surrey in nearly 30 years since Elgin Park opened its doors in 1993. Grandview Heights is a new state-of-the-art three-story school and is home to over 1,500 students. It represents another step into the future of our education for the Surrey School District. The cutting-edge school spanning almost 150,000 square feet was constructed for a total cost of $82 million. With 
over 60 classrooms, rather than being your conventional classrooms, it has flexible learning labs that prioritize multiple grade teaching, instruction, and collaboration. Among its standout features is a grand atrium at the entrance that resembles a Coast Salish longhouse, designed to function as an open learning space rather than a typical library. The school is also home to specialized labs for lifestyle and science students, a reconfigurable theater with seating for 150 people, a dance studio, two expansive gymnasiums, and a modern metal and woodworking shop. The teachers here understand the importance of innovative learning spaces and that learning occurs everywhere in the school, not just inside the classrooms. The school's facilities are modern and designed to support all sorts of different activities, both academic and extracurricular. You should see the gym. It's got all the latest fitness equipment and it's the perfect place for students to stay healthy and active. The theater is super impressive too, with all the latest equipment for students to let their creativity fly and perfect their performance skills. And the library is also awesome. It's a real hub of learning where students can access tons of different resources and collaborate on projects together. The school offers all sorts of different academic programs so there's something for everyone. The AP program is a really great opportunity for students to get college credits while they're still in high school. Plus there are a ton of elective courses in music, art, drama, sports, and more. So students can really explore their interests and passions. And if you're into extracurricular activities, this school has got you covered. They have all sorts of clubs, sports teams, and community service programs that you can get involved in. So you're sure to find something that you're interested in and make some new friends along the way. Grandview Heights has a variety of after-school sports teams ranging from soccer, hockey, volleyball, basketball, rugby, badminton, track and field, cross country, golf, and ultimate frisbee. The school's mascot is a grizzly bear, which is an iconic West Coast animal that has inhabited our lands for hundreds of years. It's recognized as an important and powerful species by many local indigenous groups for its attributes of strength, courage, respect for family, leadership, protection, and its ability to overcome adversity. These are attributes and characteristics the school strives to instill in each of its students. Grandview Heights secondary students come from many places and represent many ethnicities, cultures, and languages. Students, staff, and the parent community value kindness, curiosity, resiliency, and personal growth, stating that the school's diversity is what makes it so great. Grandview Heights is a learning community where everybody is somebody, and every student at the school is known, valued, and cared for. Moving on, we have a Cole Salish Secondary School. Salish is located in the Clayton neighborhood of the broader Cloverdale community. It's a dual language school that offers both English and French immersion programs, making it one of just four in all of Surrey for secondary schools. Completed in 2018, the new school supports 1,500 students from grades 8 to 12, although it's currently well under capacity at closer to 1,100. At a price tag of $55.2 million, the school's innovative technology and creative design are setting the bar high for new high schools. They've got a really unique setup, including 10 learning communities, each with different size learning spaces. But the coolest part is that they're all built around an open project space where students can work on all kinds of projects, both wet and dry. These flexible learning spaces incorporate the latest technologies, movable walls, writable surfaces, Surfaces, plenty of natural light, and support core principles such as anytime, anywhere, collaborative project, and inquiry-based learning. Classroom furniture has been chosen for maximum function and comfort. The desks are made of whiteboard materials so students can write directly on them. They also flip up vertically so students can showcase their work to classmates or work from a standing position. Classrooms are also equipped with wireless technology and large digital screens so students and teachers can project their work easily from a laptop or phone. No one at Salish Secondary will ever know the struggle of trying to set up a projector before making a presentation like we used to. At Salish Secondary, they're all about putting the students first. They design their facilities with the goal of making learning all about the students. Plus, they offer a really wide variety of academic programs and extracurricular activities, so you're sure to find something that sparks your interest. Their mission is all about preparing students for the fast-paced and ever-changing world out there. So they focus on fostering curiosity, creativity, and social responsibilities in their students. They offer a bunch of different academic programs to cater to everyone's interests, and if you're up for a challenge, they have AP courses that let you earn college credits while you're still in high school. They have also abandoned the traditional school bell system, going with no bell at all. Students are responsible for knowing when class starts and being on time, as they would in the workforce. The school's not just all about academics though. They have a ton of extracurricular activities too. There are sports teams, clubs, and community service opportunities, so you can find something that you're really passionate about and make sure you get involved. The school also features creative spaces for craft-based projects and rooftop yoga. Staff at Salish Secondary is also super committed to creating a welcoming environment for all. They work hard to identify and address each student's individual needs and offer support and guidance every step of the way. And if you're someone who cares about the environment, this school is definitely for you. 
They're really big on environmental stewardship and sustainability, and they encourage students to take an active role in promoting sustainable practices at school and in the community. Overall, Salish Secondary is a vibrant and dynamic learning community that has so much to offer to its students. The teachers understand that learning doesn't have to happen in four walls. It happens everywhere and anywhere, hence their innovative teaching methods. With their focus on student-centered learning, social responsibility, and environmental sustainability, it's definitely a great choice for high school education in Surrey, BC. It's worth noting that the schools mentioned in this video are just a few examples of highly regarded secondary schools in Surrey. There are many other high schools in the area that are also worth considering depending on your individual wants and needs. So if I didn't mention your school or one that's of interest to you, that doesn't mean it's a bad school. Either way, it's a good idea to research a variety of schools and visit them in person to get a feel for the school, culture, and academic offerings. You should also consider factors such as location, class sizes, extracurricular activities, and the overall fit for your children's needs. At the end of the day, the best neighborhoods are generally home to some of the best schools, so I suggest you focus on that first and you'll be fine. If you did enjoy today's video and you want to see more just like this one in the future, I suggest you consider subscribing to my channel. And if you think that I miss a school that should have been ranked in the top seven, leave it down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Lastly, if you are considering buying or selling a home in Surrey or any of the surrounding cities for that matter, or you just want to talk about real estate, you can scroll down and click the first link in the description to book a call with me at a time that works best for you. And before you take off, be sure to check out another video on my channel and we'll see you in the next one.